Holy guacamole, guys. Luigi is massive. <laughs> you, would, you know what that means? Massive dong. Massive dong. That sounds like a that sounds like a Donkey Kong character. <laughs> massive dong. Well, hey, I mean, yeah, if you're hey, I mean, if you're lucky, you could kill the chain chomps and try and get the two percent gear chance. I mean, he's probably dead after this. So how much damage? Three hundred thirty-six. That, that, shy, that shy guy is actually dead. And the chain shots were like, "Oh no, our order, bye." <laughs> Anyways, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm kind of in the mood to just, like, you know, watch you play some Paper Jam, because, uh, you know, the original plan was for you to, uh, pretend you were in the last episode all along, but since it didn't end up being the finale, I think it's okay. <laughs> yeah, I guess. Yeah. Well, hopefully that means we can do the finale properly on Friday, as long as, you know, there's no interruptions or anything. Oh man. Hey, you see that you see that shiny card I picked up? Oh that shiny card? That's a good card. You're damn right. Where'd you get it? I forgot. <laughs> well either way it's pretty good. Whoa, I, I didn't Oh I, I didn't I got it. I didn't I know you I could go in it. here. <laughs> How did you miss it? I just didn't see the crack in the wall. So hard. Dude, I saw the crack. In, I saw the shadow on the floor. Not only that, but oh. as I was walking, I saw that on the other side. Like I saw the, the blocks on the other side. I mean, I, I, I'm not like going for 100% block completion or nothing, but that's good to know. Document that for people who want that. All right, it's gonna be the real chain chomp. <laughs> the real chain chomp. Has there been a paper chain chomp in a Paper Mario game? Um, well, right. Super Paper Mario had that Earthbound boss. Are you asking if Chain Chomps have been Paper Mario before? <laughs> yeah. Well, they're in all the Paper Mario games. The only two times I remember seeing a Chain Chomp are in Super Paper Mario with that boss, and then in Color Splash, when you go to the mine level and you have to outrun a giant Chain Chomp chasing you. Oh. The chat says only if Luigi can be it. <laughs> The only could be Luigi and Superstar Saga. Yeah, it'd be pretty nice. Too bad Luigi's not in that game, honestly. It's just Mario Superstar Saga. <laughs> well, anyway. You had me confused at first, but I'm like, what are you talking about? <laughs> well, anyways, to answer your question, um, Chain Chomps show up in the Toon Koopa fight in Paper Mario 64. Toon Koopa? Yeah, the Chapter 2 boss. Oh, that thing. Um, That's a Koopa? Yeah. It's based on a uh, Tutankhamen, Common, which is apparently like a pharaoh or something. I don't know. And um, Chain Chomps show up in the Palace of Shadow in TTYD, so the last chapter of the game. <laughs> and well, if you um, think for an iconic enemy, they show up more often. Well, I mean, Red, I, Ch Red, Red, I mean, Red Chomps show up in Chapter Three. <laughs> Those don't count though, right? Because they're just you know normal. They're Red Chomps, not chain actual Chain Chomps. Did you go for these blocks? Yeah, I did get these. I forgot what's in them, though. I remember them being okay, though. Coins? I mean, that's not Well, really... I need money to buy the Masterware and the health earring for Luigi. Uh, fair enough. And Max Candy. Speaking of money, how much money do I have? 11? I need, I need... I still need another 9 grand. Good lord. Oh, you can just fly just... over this. Oh. Actually, I think you can. I think you can fly over all this. That's yeah, cheesy. I need the beans. That's cheesy. Wait, I'm gonna probably hit the saw blade. Right. No, you're fine. No, you can just uh, you can just jump down to the le down left, and you can go get the beans that way. <laughs> so easy. Yeah, who cares about the puzzles? Yeah, how, how dare you make me try and play the video game? Okay, and chain chomps also show up in Super Paper Mario in uh, Chapter Three, strangely enough. You can find them in the uh, the tree level that everybody hates. And um, I know I also know where Chain Chomps show up in Sticker Star. They show up in World Five for some reason. They're in the uh, Jungle World, and one of them is a freaking mini boss for some reason. So did you play Sticker Star? <laughs> I played it. I think I gave up at the Ice World. 
Oh, so you don't know the fucking horrors of the Chain Chomp mini-boss then, huh? No. Do you want to know how you win? <laughs> oh. You have to, um, get into an encounter with him, run away, after you put him to sleep, and for some reason that'll make him sleep in the overworld, and then you have to, and then you have to hit wait, his, wait, like- Wait, 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 rewind. Uh, your mic cut out, what'd you say? God damn it, Discord. So, I'll, I'll just repeat it. So you have to, um, you have to engage with the Chain Chomp boss, he's already awake, right? You have to put him to sleep, run away from the battle... <laughs> How do you put him to sleep? Uh, with a bat hammer. <laughs> That's the only thing that can put him to sleep is the bat hammer. Or ba hammer, however you want to say it. A.K.A. it's the hammer that puts enemies to sleep, and you never use them. And you have to put him to sleep, run away, and then you have to hit the little, like, like, peg in the overworld that's keeping him tied up. Also, this- this toad trail is not going very well. <laughs> I heard a lot of exploding balloons. Oh, yikes. That was an okay. Hey, <laughs> I never said I was good at toad trail. I got really good at it, somehow. Yeah, you can get the damn ass right. Yeah. So I got like 5,000 points on it. Anyways, a after you, after you like, you have to get you have to hammer the peg that's like keeping him chained up, and then you have to get into an encounter with him, waste three turns to wake him back up because he doesn't wait. You can't wake him up because you can't do damage to him. So the only way to wake him up is just to waste three turns doing nothing, and then you have to let him attack you. And then he'll hit the wall behind you and end the battle, and then he kills himself, and he th he loads in the uh, ending of the level. <laughs> that is the stupidest thing I've ever heard. Yeah, that's Sticker Star for you. You wanna know it's funny? That's like in like that's like halfway through the world too. And guess what? You have to fight another Chain Chomp in the last level of the world. So there's another Chain Chomp mini boss. Oh great! And you have to do it. You have to like. Fight to hit the chain chomp to like. You have to like get a chain chomp to like face plant into a platform to make it rise up. <laughs> Which makes no sense. About all the different times you need a thing, but you never know what thing you could possibly need. I mean, Sticker Star is all about that, needing thing stickers. Like, for example, how in the jungle world, um. Oh yeah, that, I, I could go over like a few of the thing stickers that are like really stupid. <laughs> the sponge in the jungle world that hides in the back and blends in because it's covered in poison. That's one of them. Well, I was gonna mention how maybe... um, in the first in the first lava level of World Five, you you pretty much start out the level and there's just like a crap ton of lava you can't get around. So guess what you have to do? <laughs> you have bucket. You have to go back to World 4, to the Ignig Mansion, to get the fucking refrigerator, and bring it to the lava level. <laughs> and, you uh, yeah, sir. Okay. and you have to freeze okay, the lava all, by using the refrigerator. I... Okay, first of all, in what context would I assume a refrigerator? I'm gonna do this just because I want to see. Lost 50% experience in coins already, but he's a good if buy my book. I can already tell you, you're probably not gonna kill those chain chomps unless you really try hard enough. Wait, Jacob, give me a second. My AirPods died, and I need to change it. I'll rip AirPods. I mean, I, I, I mean, I just hate when my AirPods die, bro. That's a joke. I don't have AirPods. <laughs> What's up? I'm gonna gift you a game on Steam. You know which game it'll be? What? <laughs> Three houses. <laughs> Three houses. <laughs> I, didn't yeah, know, I didn't know that game was on Steam. Well, where do you play Three Houses? Uh, Switch. <laughs> oh. Well, guess what? Well, well, actually, um, that, that's a pretty good uh conversation topic because uh. I was talking to Dominic, and he said he wanted to play Three Houses, so I was like, alright, sure, you can play Three Houses. 
Did you recommend him not to do that because that will drain his soul? No, he said he loves Three Houses. I was like, wow, someone who actually loves that game? What are you doing? <laughs> I don't know how this works. So you need to hold up. You need to hold up the entire time, and you don't wanna- you wanna, like, hold up right or off left, up left depending on which direction you're going. The, uh, the direction is very misleading, as you can see. <laughs> the, the, like, just like, ignore the top left, it's, it makes it way too confusing. Okay, so you, you went from an okay to a good that time, so that's, that's an improvement. Yo, yo, Ooh, ra rare card, rare card. Rare card? <gasps> Aww, that's a bit disappointing. <laughs> What a left Dang, so disappointing. And you got another pair of crystal boots, as if you need any more of those. This is a pretty fun guard to get, because the chain chomps attack at different, like, speeds. And then this guy just gets dragged away, and you have to like, hit him. And then you want to hear some fun against. <laughs> you want to see how much XP we're, we're dead after we win this fight? I mean, it depends if you kill the chain chomp or not. He said I'm worried about the king top. Oh, you're gonna go for the shy guy. Alright, bye shy guy. Oh, let's see, how much? It's like 2k. 2.5k, damn. By the way, I found out something interesting about this game. What? You can't actually stack more than, like, two experience cards. For some reason. Wait, so if you use more than two XP cards on a... But it doesn't count? It doesn't, it doesn't, like, stack for some reason. So I'm just wasting XP cards this whole time? Apparently, yeah. Well, cause here's the thing, I tried it out, I, I, I put, like, um... I, I, I used, like, two double experience cards, and it didn't give me more experience. Which is really weird, I, I didn't, I didn't know it works like that. Oh yeah, this part's pretty fun. <laughs> Oh yeah, <laughs> they kind of fake you out there. Great, thanks, game. Also, yeah. I see the big tall Goombas in the back. The best enemy in the game. At this point, it's just kind of a meme that we love the big tail Goomba. Why do we like the big tail Goombas? I think? <laughs> I'm trying to remember why them specifically. We kind of made it like an inside joke that's like, oh hell yeah, the big tail Goomba, <laughs> you know? Just because like the randomest enemy ever introduced in Mario. <laughs> yeah. Well, not not the randomest enemy in Mario, the r most randomest enemy in a Mario and Luigi game. It's a Goomba. Like the team was just like, listen, let's take a Goomba, but let's make it big, and then let's add a tail, a Tanuki tip. Actually, to be fair, they are in 3D land. They're in 3D Land, and Dream Team, Dream Team had them as an enemy in Dreamy Bowser Castle. So they're not like, it, it's it's kind of random by Dream Team standards too. It feels more it, it feels more at home in this game because there's just no new unique enemies. There's just a bunch of generic random Mario enemies. To be fair, all these games have like unique enemies. So I give this one a pass being the one game that'll have like your normal Mario enemies. Yeah. Like, if it was every game, then I'd have a problem, but this is the only game, so I give it a pass. I mean, I, I like I like Dream Team's enemies. I think some of my favorite enemies are the ones in Mount Pajamaja. Like, um, there's those fucking dumbbell enemies that, like, you try- you have to, like, hammer them. The little crab people. The little what people? The little crab people that hide in, uh, walnuts. Oh yeah, those enemies are pretty funny. Um, there's- there's, like, a bunch of those weird, like, stone- Creatures in uh, the dreamy version of Mount Pajamaja. Um, there's Hello? also there's also those like those angry guys that are lifting up a bunch of rocks. <laughs> or the Goombas that are level 35. <laughs> that, that get thrown around by fly guys for some reason. Yeah, for once Goombas are in the first enemy you fight. Yeah, and say so you fight Groombas. Great enemy name, by the way, Groomba. Yo, I'm really hoping Brothership has a weird-ass Goomba variety. I'm hoping it's not Excuse just an an- I'm hoping it's not just a Goomba. Yeah, so you need to- 
And here's where you can find the Boomerang Bros, Dry Bones, and Big Tail Goombas if you miss them in Dreamy Bowser's Castle. Or not Dreamy Bowser, just normal Bowser's Castle. I like how there aren't even Big Tail Goombas, you just have to fight them with the Boomerang Bros. Yeah, you just, they're just, they got the sloppy seconds, you know? Oh, look at all the Bundling Boots DX, that's actually a really good piece of gear. What do I have for Big my Shocking Boots. Oh yeah, do that right now. They're not better than the expert boots, but they're good if you're not going for all the expert challenges. Oh yeah, don't forget to use your beans. I have a heart bean. <laughs> wow, your your stats are much more your stats are a lot much more like close in range than mine. Well, the Luigi's HP is a bit high, but that's about size the point. Why is Lu yeah? Why is Luigi faster? That's so weird. Um, uh, because I think what happened was I had a piece of gear with Mario that would increase his speed heavily, so I'd always focus my speed beans on Luigi and Paper Mario. But once I took it off for Mario, then Luigi just decided, "Oh, hey, now's a good time for me to become like fast." <laughs> now, as now Luigi's faster. I'm, I'm, this, awesome. might, this might be a hot take, but I think this might be one of the best final dungeon songs in the series. I mean, I like it. Alright, let's see here. Is there a big... Hey, look, it's a yeah, big Yeah, the best enemy in the game! And he's st still um, only level 26. Uh, let me just, I'm, I'm gonna reset my cards, because what's this? Ooh, 50% oh, here. It's really the same thing as the shiny one, but, like, cheaper. Yeah, now since I'm about to hit rainbow rank next episode... I don't need the experience cards anymore because I'm, I'm Mario. Mario's like, Mario's like a hundred experience away from Rainbow Rank, and I was like, well, shit, I can't grind anymore because otherwise I'll get Rainbow Rank off screen. I don't want that. Has there not even tried? Yo, the shiny paper boomerang, bro. Go to enemy. Great enemy, probably gonna run stuff. What level is he? <laughs> is he like level thirty or something? 35. 35. Damn, that's almost as high as level you are. He actually lives. Are you just gonna try and kill the big tail of him and try and get the drop from him? Yeah. Oh no. <laughs> They're gonna be yes. here a while. You're not. It doesn't take that long, Jacob. What's the drop rate for him? Let's go. You know what? Tell him to look that up because I don't know the answer. Um, big tail Goomba. <laughs> uh, his latest appearance was Mario and Luigi Bowser Jr.'s Journey. <laughs> That's the well, last they, game they he appeared in. Much like part of both these RPG games. Yeah, he appeared in Three Land, and then he appeared in like a bunch of um RPGs, and that's it. All right, so. The Filler Brooch DX is a 5% drop chance. So it's better than the Chain Chomps drop, at least. Because those are 2%. And yeah, we're gonna be here for a little bit. Yeah, and he lived again. He's tanky. He is... Yeah, he has a lot of health. He has 277. It's a very specific number. Yeah, at least it's guaranteed there'll be one here whenever we fight this guy. Yeah, I think it's the same loadout every time, just because they kind of need to have these uh, enemies all in one loadout. Oh, that's definitely not gonna do it. Yeet. 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 He's dead. Did you do this? Jacob? What's up? Did you do this? Um, no. I don't even know what the filler bridge does. I'm kind of curious now. I'll have, I'm gonna look that up because I have to go to the freaking gear page. Uh, let's see, filler brooch. Um, gives you extra star points when you get a crit. Here we go. I mean, it'll be nice. It'll just be a funny item to have, really. Exactly. You know what you could do to speed this mm. up? 
You could put the um you could put the master gloves on Luigi and just use the drill shell. <laughs> Alright, one second. Oh. <laughs> Here we go! Here we go! We're gonna fight the big ten Goomba for the 90th time! <laughs> Oh yeah, 237. So he lives with 40 health. So he just he just keeps barely living every time. Yeah. Sadly, no. I mean, hey, you're, oh. getting, you're getting money at least for doing this because he drops his money every time. True. I mean, how much money? I still need to buy the masterware for the bros. Mm. So no filler brooch then. I'm not even gonna kill them, they're not worth it. <laughs> I mean, it's a cool item, you know. Getting more star points for crits. But then again, Paper Mario Paper Mario has like, a piece of gear for that anyways. Where he just- Isn't the gear for Paper Mario? Um... Actually... No, it's for the bros. I remember in Superstar Saga, the, the, the like... The bros would have pieces of gear that were dedicated to one or the other. Oh yeah, that's kind of cool, honestly. I think, um, Partners in Time might do that as well. Could be wrong. Well, it's harder to do there, because you have to split it among four. Yeah, I think I think some of the gear is just for the babies, and some gear is for the bros, you know? Yeah, different sizes. It's not like one's a little infant, and the other is a, a 40-year-old Italian. <laughs> yep. From, from Brooklyn. <laughs> Are you guys Brooklyn? Mario and Luigi are from Brooklyn. <laughs> I always loved that that little part of Mario history. Yeah, he's secretly a New Yorker, but he speaks Italian. Yeah. Well, I mean, a lot of Italians live in New York, though. Well, New York is the number one state for pizza. Yep, so it makes sense all the Italians live there. Ah, uh, yes, stereotypes. <laughs> I mean, yeah, that's like the pretty much one of the biggest stereotypes that, like, you know, New York, it's got mafias, so that, you know, you got all the Italian mob bosses. Well, like, pizza. yeah, he's like, hey, yo, I'm watching you, you see? <laughs> it's walking, I'm walk not watching. Well, that's the, I'm walking here. I know that reference. But, like, um, you know, the mob boss is like, hey, I see what you're doing, you see? You know, you're gonna, you're gonna, Play by my rules, well, bad things are gonna happen down the line, see? Why are you, ta why are you talking like Popo? Because that's how Popo talks, he talks like a mob boss. <laughs> but you just were talking about an Italian mob boss, and you didn't mention Popo, so I'm like, why are you talking like Popo? Well, like, well, because Popo talks like an Italian mob boss, that's the joke. <laughs> Do they always say C after every sentence? Yes, <laughs> that's, that's the joke. Do I have all the beans in this castle? Maybe. There might be some more actually in this in this room still. 98% yeah. Oh that's right, I see four beans in Mount Bird, damn it. Somehow you have you found more than me. I only I only have 94. I don't know where the fuck the other ten are. I don't <laughs> I don't know how I missed that many. I mean if we finish this episode quickly enough, the side quest, figure out where the beans are. <laughs> I don't know if I want to know where they are. I'm too lazy. No, I'll do it, idiot. Oh, you're gonna find the beans? Yes. Well, maybe that'll give me an insight on where the beans I missed are. Because somehow I'm missing yes. ten. Dude, why does this portion of this level suck so much? I don't know, that's just a skill issue. There you go. Alright. Damn. Hmm. All right. Yo, it's a paper bruiser, the best enemy in the game. Why? Because they give you the farmer beans? <laughs> yeah. And also because um, their shinies are stronger than shiny Robo Bowser. I mean, that's only like on a technicality of level. I feel like still Robo Bowser kicks these big bruises. Mm, I don't know, man. The paper bruiser got a lot of defense. Yeah, and Paper Bowser has an attack that turns them into little sheets of paper. They're already sheets of paper. I love Balloon Blast. 
So glad, yeah. so, so sad that I never got to experience it on my first playthrough, and now I'm experiencing the joy of Balloon Blast. <laughs> I gained a new appreciation from this game just because of Balloon Blast. Yeah, because it's an attack that you missed it. Yeah, it's like, it's, it's, like it's like a brand new bros attack for me. I still find it funny that we missed Cannonball Chuck. Yeah, I don't know how that- I don't know. That's what this game gets for locking bros attacks behind stupid Nabbit quests. We missed a really good attack we could have had this whole time. Would've been good for the Bowser Jr. fight. No, it would not have been good for the Bowser Jr. fight. Yeah, it would've. You hit him from the sides, bro. Yeah, and Cannonball- and Cannonball Chuck hits him on the head. Well, I know what bros attack you're not using against the Cody fight. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I wonder. It's such a mystery. Even though it's like one of the best bros attacks to use against them. It does, cri it, it, it does critical damage to Paper Cody. And how much XP? 1100. Okay, I think these are where the last um, beans are. Unintentional, but and whatever. The, and the Funi Shy Guy. I mean, it's debatably better to hit a singular enemy with that first strike. That's honestly gotta be like the weirdest way to start an to start a battle. It's just by having all three bros ram into an enemy. <laughs> they just decide to go barbarian style charge at him. They do the Wario shoulder bash. <laughs> Does this count as a reused enemy? Cause like, um, well, I mean the the expert challenges don't count the shy guy guard here because the shy guy technically doesn't attack. It's just the chain chomps. So. Well, wait, hey, the shy guy doesn't. Yeah, I was gonna say the shy guy doesn't attack. It's just the chain chomp that attacks. Well, I mean the thing is, you know, I actually prefer how Dream Team handled things because Dream Team actually had a unique enemy called the Walker guy, but in this game, wow. I must have said. There you go. Oh, you are the you are the just supposed to parkour. Hey, over. there's the here's the last few beans. <laughs> hey, look, hey, look, it's a bean. Guys, who here with beans? I don't know how you can just there. There's the last two beans. There you go. I got all of them. Yeah, I like the Walker guys better. They're cool because they're actually like a cool shade of light blue. Oh my god. And the chain chomps. Look at Mario's defense. Mario's got no def. To be fair, my Mario, my Mario has like 200 speed. <laughs> Cause I just pumped all the speed beans into him and I gave none of the speed beans to anybody else. And you know, I think that's kind of counterintuitive, but hear me out. If Mario gets to move first above most of the enemies, oh, there's a free 2000 bucks right there. I know it kind of messes with the turn order if Mario moves first and then the enemies move and then Luigi and Paper Mario go. But the thing is, is if you start the battle with Mario first, you can just start up and have all your cards activate on turn one before the enemy gets to move. And that could be, that could really like change how the battle goes. Not really. I, I honestly kind of disagree with you on that stance, but whatever. Oh. <laughs> Yo, Mexican! Yeah, you're gonna get a, a taste of Border Patrol real quick. <laughs> what, Megathonk is Border Patrol? Yes, also I like how you can see like the big blue button in the background, even though we're nowhere near that area. Well, if you pay more, if you pay attention to the background more, you'll see that the frickin' that lift just repeats itself like over and over. <laughs> oh! <laughs> it's... Yeah. Now, and now that I noticed it, I can't unsee it, it's really weird. Wow. The mariachi guys truly are some of the best enemies in all of Paper Mario. Exactly. Which is why we must prioritize going on first. <laughs> I mean, still, we couldn't have the uh, Maraca guy and the accordion guy. Yeah, only the mariachi guy is kind of unfortunate. Yeah, it's just the sombrero guy. Or guitar guy, I don't know. Oof. Oof, this is not a good code trial. What do you mean? I'm zooming. 
There's a lot of balloons popping right now. That's a bad thing? Yes. You missed the shy guy. You missed the shy <laughs> guy. I was like the one dude I was targeting and I missed him. Yeah, and say you got the you got the bruisers instead. I am really happy that Sticker Star and Paper Jam gave the Bruisers some more love, though, because they're always kind of like a cool, underrated enemy. And he's gone. Yeah. Just like your father. <laughs> you want to get in there? I forget, what's the deal with this room? Um, wind. Wind mechanics. Whoop! This is one of the weirdest rooms in the castle, though, honestly. I am gonna miss- so I, I am gonna miss hearing Charles Martinet when I play Brothership, though. Wait, I'm sorry, did that platform just keep going, right? Um... Nope. It doesn't look like it. <laughs> it's all it. I was like, wait, did, did that platform just keep going, right? Honestly, last night was pretty damn disappointing. <laughs> what, what did you do last night? Well, the crazy thing is I had like so many things planned for last night and none of them ended up happening. Like, what do you mean? Uh, I was gonna play um, Puyo Puyo with Dominic. That didn't happen. I was gonna play Metal Gear Solid 2 with Jay. That didn't end up happening. Who's Jay? Um, we played Trash with him a few times. Uh -huh. We were gonna, and then I was kind of hoping to do Paper Jam last night as well. That also didn't happen, so I was like, well, fuck, none of the things I wanted to do last night ended up happening, so... I just ended up starting another Mario RPG ROM hack. <laughs> and it's pretty, it's pretty it's fun so should, far. You should've gotten a head start on Sonic Boom. <laughs> Sonic Boom? Oh, hell no. I mean, I do Why have, not? I do have, um, Piramisu on my Wii U, so I could get it. What the hell is Terry Masu? Uh, it's a homebrew loader. It's like one of the most recent what homebrew loaders. The, uh, something bro Oh yeah, the perfect bro gloves, I think. Oh, are they normal people gloves? <laughs> normal people, yeah. Perfect bro gloves. Makes you cost- makes the bros attacks for free if you haven't taken damage. <laughs> That's gonna be useless for the Cody fight. Yep, pretty much. They're not as good as the master gloves. Or the bros boots. Those are way better. Well, actually, I took off the bros boots for the Cody fight, I think. Because, like, I just have never needed to... I, I've never used syrups in this game, like, ever. The only time I used syrups I use, was, like, in the beginning of the game, that's it. I use syrups, like, when I need to kill syrup outside of battle, not, like, during the battle. Oh, out of battle? But here's the thing, since I'm always getting my BP back, I never need to, um, use syrups either. Oh yeah, I love these enemies, they're so annoying. <laughs> oh, and Mario's charred now. Or he was. Rip bundling boots effect. Alright. That's the best attack you perform on these clowns. Yeah, well, Toad Trail's better, but I mean, you can't do that move, so sadly not. Toad Trail one-shots these guys. And since they're all in like a perfect straight line, it's really good. Ooh, you got the dark really hammer. Good. What? You got the dark hammer. What does that do? It's bad, don't use it. <laughs> <laughs> you wanna know why it's bad? Why? It damages you whenever you whenever you attack an enemy. Why would I want that? Um, I don't know. It's more of a just gag item, gag weapon. You wanna because you wanna know what's kind of funny? I, I was testing it out off screen, I don't think I showed it on screen. But um I used bomb derby just as an example on a spiny. You wanna know how much damage Mario took? Much. He took 570 damage. So that just one shot him. Yeah, it one shot killed him. 
Just from having the Dark Hammer equipped. So, so what's the point? It's terrible. I don't know why you'd ever equip it. So I sell it every time I get it. Because I've gotten like 10 Dark Hammers in my grind session. Something like that. Anyways. With the game running with the game running at like 20 FPS and you fighting like pretty much every enemy you come across, it's only been like 35 minutes. Hey, shut up. No, I'm saying that's a good thing. So why are you judging me that I fight every enemy I come across? No, I'm not judging. I'm just saying like I'm just surprised how like short it's been, even though you've fought everything and the game's running at like 20 FPS sometimes. Hmm. So I still think, honestly, the worst guard for me was the Sombrero guy and the Dry Bones. Those were like the two worst guards in the game for me, honestly. Why? Because they're so hella inconsistent, and that's what makes them annoying to do. I like consistent attacks, you know? Like the, like the Chain Chomps are really consistent, they're easy to get. You know, it's always chain chomp, paper chain chomp, chain chomp, paper chain chomp, both of them, and then you jump on the shy guy. Like that's or consistent. The other one where, or the other one where they play tug of war with their master. Well, and that's easy because you just count how many times each chain chomp moves, and that's easy. Or if you're lazy like me, you just kind of just swing the hammer every time. Yeah. I mean, I mean, this, this, I don't know, what angle are you holding up left and up right at? Because <laughs> usually I, angle I, I usually only hold it at like a 30 degree angle. <laughs> you count 30 degrees? Well, any, anything more than 45 degrees is too far, <laughs> so that'll help with that attack. Yeah. Alright, well, somehow, somehow you hit the normal chain chomps as well. Well, one of them's dead. Great. Oh yeah, you wanna know something Wait, interesting about the chain chomps? What? They can do this. Or not that. So so if you if you happen to be in a battle with the chain chomps and more than just the chain chomps, on this on the next turn, randomly the chain chomps that ran away will come in. Oh yeah, and do this. Yeah, I know they do that. I, know I, that. I discovered that randomly off screen. I was like, what the fuck? They can do that? I've always known they could do that. I never knew that. It, it was kind of surprising when I found out. Did you, like, cock up the attack at first, or did you still get it? Uh, I don't know if I got it, but either way, I only saw it, like, once, so it doesn't matter. Mario is level 38. Yeah, only, like, eight more levels before he's max rank. <laughs> Honestly, I doubt you're probably gonna get Rainbow Rank. Unless you, like, really feel Dude, where that where did all these enemies come from? When, since when have there been, like, three Shy Guy and three Mega Koopas up here? Well, I know they show up once you get all the bridge parts. Alright, I think what I'll do is I'll do this, and then before I fight Cody, I'll head out and I'll just go keep, um, the stuff. You'll, uh, go, the get the the You'll go get the Master Wear? Yeah. I'll sell the gold statues, that'll probably help, uh, expend yeah. the cost. Honestly, it's kind, of, it's kind of a shame they put the warp pipe after the Cody fight and not before it, because that would really help, honestly. Oh yeah, I forget there's an, a warp pipe in Bowser's castle. Yeah. It's, it's right before the, like, the last few bosses of the game. It's weird they put it, like, so close to the end. Like, I really think it would benefit if they put it, like, I don't know, at the end of the bridge, maybe. But that's just me. It doesn't really take too long. Alright, I gotta piss again, so... I'll be right back.
Oh yeah, do you do you watch Ant Dude by the way? I used to watch Ant Dude. Oh, you don't anymore? I kind of stopped because, like, to me, his content feels similar to like Peanut Butter Gaming and John Tron, but I think both of them are funnier, so I go with them. Oh. <laughs> I mean, I, I recommend his latest video that he uploaded last night. He um, he he basically went through like the 3DS. Like, a bunch of 3DS games. Have you seen that thing that's been popping up online? What thing? Some dude made a little, like, VHS-looking thing, and it has, like, over 10,000 games from all sorts of consoles. Oh, wow, that's possible. That's pretty cool, though. Yeah, no. So, is that the next, uh, is that the next Snoop Dogg console? <laughs> Snoop Dogg mm -hmm. I don't think it was Snoop Dogg that pitched it. Wait, no, god damn it. I didn't want to do Mega Flong. Well, when the hell did they start chatting in, in chat room? What do you mean? What are they, what are they saying? Hmm. Let's see, um... <laughs> Luke says, wow, that's great, as in a sarcastic way. Aaron says, noise. Elijah says, biggest lie of the week. <laughs> Luke says, damn, damn, but seriously, when I said that I was being sarcastic, it's okay if you don't believe me. And then he sent that, he sent that emote of Luigi looking at his phone. <laughs> and then, and then Dominic said, bollocks. <laughs> and then he sent a, a, a Toho meme. <laughs> and then Aaron says, average Gen Z. And then Mario randomly says, Pac-Man World 2. <laughs> wow. And so I said, yeah, hell yeah, Mario knows what's up. <laughs> yeah, and then I followed with, what's that? <laughs> what's that? You don't know what Pac-Man World 2 is. I, I mean, I showed you an image. Oh, well. Wait, Elijah finally responds to the 3D world glitch. Yeah, he did. Yeah. And Luigi's level 38. Hell yeah, he's almost old enough to uh, drink and drive. What do you mean? <laughs> I don't know why I said that. <laughs> In fact, Jacob, he's like 17 years over. I was gonna, I was gonna say, I was gonna say, um, he's almost, um, he's almost in his 40s. That's what I meant to say. All right, time to do balloon burst. <laughs> I eat plastic. Uh -oh. I always forget Mega Koopas are here. I also forget that they're in the Superstar Saga remake. Wait, what do you mean, great? I didn't even talk it up. I'm co that's confusing. I don't know what happened there. Maybe you hit the A and B button, or B button too early on one of the jumps? I don't know. Alright, welcome back to Seb Doesn't Know How to Do Toad Trail. <laughs> Yep. Well, I never stop holding up when I do this attack. If that helps. <laughs> Alright, we're gonna hold straight up. Yeah. Bad up. Oh, well... I mean, that... Bad idea. That, that didn't go very well. Alright, Chair Shuriken, the one attack that depends on how many clones you have. Yeah, which makes it really good for the boss rush later on. Which I'm looking forward to doing. I might be looking forward to that more than the Bowser's Inside Story one, honestly. Well, yeah, because at least it will be a little easier. Yeah, and it also I can just cheese the fuck out of it with the cards because, um, yeah, cards make a, an incredible difference in that. Like seriously, you, you can get so overpowered in those fights with the cards.
Because you, you okay? I can I can tell what you what my strategy is basically for like every boss fight in this game. You should kill Pete Prime just by jumping on him with the master boots and wear. <laughs> oh yeah, I, I I I almost did that. Oh, I don't think I had the master boots on, so I didn't kill him. It's a good thing the hit boxes on those fireballs are so generous. Okay, maybe not those ones. Yeah, in case you couldn't tell, I hate this attack. <laughs> what, the, uh, the, the, the Mecha Koopas? Yes, I hate everything about the Mecha Koopas in this game. They are so much better in the other game, in Super Cell Saga. Yeah, well, for one, you don't have to fight, like, five of them at once. Yeah, you just get the one. One or two, depending on the loadout. Well, they show up in... Well, I always find it weird that they show up in a Wufu University. Well, I feel like that's why the Mecha Chomps make more sense for Wufu University. They feel like weird-ass experiments compared to the Mecha Koopas. Which is the whole point. I always found the weird yo-yo bros weird as well. I was like, what the hell are they doing here? That's why I love about Wufu University. There's just a bunch of weird-ass enemies in there. Yeah, and then they just randomly have the Dr. Mario viruses. I'd say they also fit there. <laughs> they don't feel out of place there. It's not that they feel out of place, it's just like... It's you know, just like, well, you know what, actually? What do you the, mean? the viruses feel way more out of place in Dream Team. Like, they're just randomly in Mushrise Park for no reason. <laughs> Wait, they're in Dream Team? Yeah. I didn't... I never knew that. I never knew they were in Dream Team. Well, you play Dream Team, right? It's been a while. Yeah, they're in Dream Team, and they're just randomly in, like, Mushrise Park, and you have to fight, like, 20 of them at once. <laughs> they're just a random enemy you can find there. It's very Is strange. It like, do, you, do you have to, like, revisit it or something, or are they just, like, always there from the start? No, you, you, you have to fight them on, like, one of the revisits. I think it's during, like, the, um, during, like, the pillow bed side quest that you have to do. Or not side, side well, quest. Well, not side, like quest. side quest. The main quest, you know, the... the the pillow bed, when you have to rebuild it, you have to go to Mushrise Park at some point, and the viruses are just there <laughs> on one of the revisits. What are the Dr. Mario viruses doing here in a park? I don't know. They're just there. Now, I don't even, I don't even remember the context, honestly, because I haven't played Dream Team in, like, three years. So, yeah, that's kind of that's kind of food me. Alright. One second, I need to reestablish my clones. <laughs> yeah, can't wait to get Rainbow Rank where I can have Mario do his cloning without wasting a turn. <laughs> well, I wonder if it's worth using one of my upgrade slots for that. I don't think it's that often you, you, you lose your clones that it's warranted for that. Yeah, like, wouldn't it just be better to have the, um, the cloning card instead? What do you mean? The one, you know, the card where you just give old Paper Mario his clones. Oh, now that was definitely your fault. <laughs> Alright, well, hopefully it'll kill him. Yep. Is that the last Mecha Koopa? Am I done? Yep, you're done. Alright, let's... Right, I'm, I'm gonna go check this out. At the very least, leaving is convenient. Because you just walk right here. Yeah, like, when when running back through this place, it, like, I'm, I'm just thinking, like, man, this dungeon sh is short. And then we actually, when we actually had the playthrough all of it, I was like, wow, this place is long. <laughs> I always find it weird that the toad trail pile doesn't show up on the top floor, but then you go down, it's the same thing, you pop in, oh, hey, look, they're back. <laughs> they're there now. That is a weird, um... That is a weird thing. And then the side of that, You know what I find even more confusing? Mm. The fact that randomly the bruisers show up. <laughs> what do you mean? Well, they're, they're, they're on that platform. 
on the first floor, but when you go when you go up, the platform go that that rat rises up. Suddenly the bruisers despawn, which makes no sense. Oh, <laughs> I see. Uh, I I see. we go to you. Let's go here. I kind of forgot there's a shop here. <laughs> I usually I, I usually go to the trop, tropical uh I usually go to like the doop 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 dunes one. Yeah, actually I think I can do something. I think do do dunes. dunes. You can sell the crystal boots. Do they break? Oh yeah, nah. We don't we don't take crystal boots in in this house. And we sell the shocks and boots. Uh, let's see here the dark hammer. Let's get rid of the iron ball hammer DX. The dark hammer. You don't need that. <laughs> we don't need that, and the, we, we don't Flash. need the flashy hammer. Nope. Angel wear? What does this do? It's just okay. I recommend keeping it just as a novelty, because there's only one of it in the entire game. Alright, metal gloves? We don't need that. Terrible. Perfect. I'll hold on to them. Gold statue? Gold statue. You have two of them. No, you definitely have enough for the master wear. I'll keep the bros ring and I'll keep the mix badge in case. Now nah, sell the mix yeah, badge. We can buy master wear. If you really need the mix badge, go get the mix badge DX in the in, in I'll the have woods. That. I'm Luigi. Oh, yeah, you don't need the mix badge then. <laughs> Just put on like the pow scarf DX instead if you need if you want a good piece of accessory. Actually, do you even have? Do you, wait, do you right have now, the pow scarf DX? I think I sold it. You can't sell it. It's a, it's no, you don't have it yet. You can buy it. <laughs> for for which bros? Oh, for Mario probably because he has the Star Brooch DX on. Luigi has the Mix Badge. You know, I'm the opposite. I have I have the Pow Scarf on Luigi and I have the Mix Badge on Mario. <laughs> well, now I have a Star Brooch DX. So. so I mean, it's up to you if you'd rather have Star Points or just raw attack power. I mean, let me, let me think for a minute. Challenge wear? That's definitely not worth it anymore. Ooh. You know what? Do I have the perfect bro gloves? Yeah, you do. Do I sell that? Oh, I do? Or, I mean, you should if you didn't sell them. Are they one and done? Um, you might have sold them, honestly. No, you have them. Oh, no. You know what? I might just consider it just because. I mean, I have the perfect POW gloves on Luigi. I don't know if you have right. those still. I probably don't. <laughs> Rip. Alright, next up. We're not buying battle cards. So let's go to the Mount Pro shop. What, a, what gear could you be missing? You'll see. Is it stuff for Paper Mario? Let's we'll see here. Well, those are Star. obviously bad. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Here's... This, we have the Comet with... The co oh. Honestly, the only decent one's the Comet Hammer. Possibly. Yeah, I don't like possibly. And it only works on normal enemies. It doesn't work on bosses. This is technically better than the energy wear. No, what I'm looking for is back for- it's, it's for the bros, it's for- I want it for the Luigi. What, what, what are you looking for for the bros? Healthier in. Oh. That's pretty- that is a pretty interesting accessory, I've never worn that. Yeah, I, I think it'll be good, I think it's a good idea. What statuses are you worried about? <laughs> Burn. Burn? I mean, the, the only- The Bowser's do fire. Well, yeah, the Bowser's could inflict him with burn, I guess. That's the only thing I could think of. And also, the Cody's might, like, stun you or trip you or whatever. I'm not all for that. I don't remember I them think... doing that. Well, you never know, so... I better... So, right now, I think my Mario and Luigi are good. I'm happy with my rank-up bonuses with them. I mean, it's not the worst rank-up bonuses I've ever seen. Yeah, that, but you hold that on it. I think their gear is done too. Yeah. 
this looks good. Paper Mario, I gotta think about. So here's my thing. I'm happy with his hammer and his gloves and his thing, his boots and his gear. Those two I got kind of. Because here's the thing. Do I want the thing from the Big Tail Goombas? Those don't go on Paper Mario. That's right. <laughs> I don't worry, the gear I want, it comes from Cody, that's right. Mm, what does Cody drop again? I forget, but it's a piece of- I think it's the- I think it's the Shock and Boots DX. Oh yeah, the Shock and Boots DX, those are good. Yeah, I'll put that on the paper. So then it's the deal, do I want to grind for the Camelot DX? The, uh, the one from I think the Chain we'll Chomps? Do... Long pipe, bro. Yeah. <laughs> No, this is the right one. It takes me to... Remember, we're gonna go get the beans real quick. All right. Just, just because you know I want to have 100% bean, right? <laughs> now you're making yeah, me. You now, now you're making me want 100% bean, right? <laughs> yeah, you, you don't understand, Jerry. These are idiots. I need four beans in one bowl, and then I have every single bean in this game. That is pretty good. I don't know which ones I missed in Doop Doop Dunes then. Cause I'm missing beans in there. I think I'm missing a couple in some bean planes. And in um Mount Burr. Like I'm just, I'm just wondering where I could have missed beans because like this is the point in the game where you get the drill, so I'm just confused where the fuck I would have missed them. Could look up a lit. Could look up a bean list. How? <laughs> not sure how effective that will be. Oh wait, wait, wait! I might know where they are. I, I just noticed something on the mini map. You know something on the mini map? What up here? Maybe. Oh yeah. Well, it's definitely not up there. Well, no worries. We we uh, keep going. Let's see, Mount Burr. Um. I mean, you could check like the perimeters of these areas. Oh, you never got that that block up there. How do you get up there? With the plane. Oh yeah, that makes sense. I think I actually went back to get that. I don't remember it being anything special, but it's it's fun just to grab. Yeah, this is hundred coins. <laughs> um, I'm looking. I'm gonna look at the list. Wow, there's like eight beans. Oh, wow, there's a lot of beans in this tutorial area. It's pretty surprising. Um, oh, oh, we're getting some frame drops. And Seb's dead. No, Seb, don't die. You know what? I might need to open up my copy of Paper Jam and look for these damn beans. It's kind of tempting, honestly. So, let me try that. Grab my, uh, my controller. Wherever it is, there it is. Yeah, I'm gonna open up the good old lemonade. You know, be funny actually. I should put my paper jam in the corner of the screen. <laughs> we could have like some double paper jam action going on. So I'm just gonna put mine like up here in the top right corner while I try and hunt for those beans that I'm missing. <laughs> so. Yeah, let me just do that real quick. So, uh, I don't know why the hell I'm here. I'm not supposed to be here. We're gonna go to Mount Burm. We're gonna try and look for the beans myself. Oh, hell yeah. The funny Discord notification noise. <laughs> the funny Minus Bros. Yeah, and the funny Matteo. <laughs> 
what's currently happening. Uh, Seb went AFK, but he was playing Paper Jam a second ago. <laughs> We're trying to hunt for beans. You're doing it. You're doing it on Twitch. Yep. Actually, I'm trying to I'm, I'm trying to find some beans myself because I don't have all of them either. I just don't know where I missed them because it says I'm missing ten beans here. Minus beans, though. <laughs> Minus beans. Anyways, I had no idea you played Pac-Man World too. That's pretty peak, honestly. That game really is a bitch to 100%, though. Did I go over here already? There's no way you 100%ed Pac-Man World 2. I mean... No way. Well... What well, part of that don't you believe? <laughs> I don't believe you got all the fruit, all the pack dots, and all the mazes. Um, and all the coins. The hardest part about 100 saying that were some of the time trials that I had to do. And honestly, like any of the auto-scrolling levels were really hard to get all the fruit on. Because <laughs> if you miss them, you have to die and reset the checkpoint. So, I mean, that's no fun. <laughs> yeah. And I had to use a guide to find out where some of the tokens were, because they were, like, really obscure. Download unavailable at the request of the Entertainment Software Association. What the hell? I can't get Pac-Man World 2. I can't download it. I mean, it depends what version you're trying to get. The GameCube one. Yeah, that's the one I. That's the one I have. I'll have to send it to me. Okay, I could probably do that. I think I know where I got it from. I mean, I also tried out the PS2 version, because that version ass. has a bunch of differences. <laughs> it's ass. <laughs> it's ass. It's major ass. What makes you say that? I just don't like the, uh... It feels like it runs slower, and I don't like the sound effect of the run. Oh yeah, the, um... I do, I do find the sound design weird in the PS2 version. I do agree with that. And you are right, it does run a bit slower. Oh hey, I found two of the beans that I missed. <laughs> they were just randomly in this one area where this bully was. Well, what? Really really Seb, uh, I, Seb, Seb, I have an idea on what, what some of the beans you missed are. Where? You need to go to the far right where that one random bully is. Try going there. I found two beans that I missed. <laughs> Did you just boot up your thing while I was gone? Yeah, because I got bored. And I kind of want to, um... I kind of want to see if I can find the beans that I'm missing. Well, sorry, bro, I had to go do laundry. Oh, fair enough. And while you were gone, me and Maddie were talking about Pac-Man World 2. Yeah, yeah. Which is a pretty peaky game. Oh, I don't think you've been over here at all. What the hell? There's the four beans that you missed. Wow. Look they're, at that. All they were just here this whole time. Let's go. Well, that's 100% bean, right? Wow, you lucky bastard. Yo, a shiny Mexican. Let's go. I want it. Wait, we weren't talking about the same thing when you said beans and Mexicans? <laughs> no, that's just, <laughs> a that's, that's, that's just a coincidence. Were you taking it literally like literal beans and literal Mexicans? <laughs> yes. Well, I mean, this game does I mean, have both of those. 
hurt. But both. Oh. I thought they were one thing. One thing. <laughs> one thing. Ah, get away from me, Fuzzy Beetle. Fuck. Now I'm running from this battle. I'm not allowed to kill enemies anyway, because I'm gonna level up. And I don't want to do that. Your character's out by 35% for a limited time. That's a pretty good card, actually. Yeah, I'm wondering if I'm missing any beans in this cave. Well, Jacob, we know where my beans were. <laughs> we, we figured it out. You're welcome. Wait, Jacob, we gotta get the thumbnail. What's the thumbnail? Break time? Yeah, that's a good thumbnail. No. 100% <laughs> <100 laughs> beans. <laughs> I'm missing 95... I have 95% block rate. And 69% item patch rate. Yeah, let's you, not talk about that. Well, say you can't 100% the game unless you get all the item patches and all the item blocks. <laughs> have I even been in this room? No, I don't think so. You just kind of ignored this room. And I'm gonna try and figure I out which beams I missed. Alright, meanwhile you do that, I'm just gonna explore this entire room that I apparently never bothered to go to. I mean, you never have to go to this room anyway. What if I was your room? Hmm? <laughs> Oh, no, wait, you, you have been to this room. I think this is the room you go to after you defeat the paper craft by the juniors. I just never bothered to go left this way. Ah, oh, that makes sense. <laughs> oh, yeah, that paper craft bridge is probably never there. Yeah, I 100%ed Pac-Man World 2 in, like, a month. <laughs> What's that? Oh, yeah, yes, Jacob, you do have a problem. Maybe I have a problem. That game's great. Two weeks? What's with you and being games in, like, record time? Bro, I took, like, a week off from the game once I beat the final boss. And then I went back to 100% like a week later. <laughs> Still, Jacob, you have a problem. No, I don't. Goes by so you. Oh yeah, that level's a bitch. <laughs> I also hate that level. The only way I was able to get the time trial on that was by cheesing it. <laughs> Alright, well at least we got the beans, so we can get the hell out of here. That is very true. No, Wait, I, I have any... When did I lose HP? Oh, for the next badge. Yes, I'm playing Paper Jam. I mean, Seb's mostly playing. I, just, I have my little, my, my tiny little footage in the corner. If you really want to pay attention to that, it feels weird actually seeing Mario with like reasonable defense. I know, right? Yeah, this whole time he's had like a hundred defense. Now he's back up to two hundred. <laughs> I'm just trying to figure out which beans I'm missing in Mount Burr because I don't know. Apparently, I missed like ten of them. I found I found two of them in that one room with the uh, with the bully, but I'm kind of confused on which ones I'm missing. It has to be on like the second half of the mountain then. <laughs> so we're just kind of we're just kind of like messing around before we fight the Cody's. Well, I'm about to go fight the Cody's right now. Okay, I'll I'll be sure to watch that. We just well, first... all universally call Kamek's Cody's. <laughs> yeah. Awesome. Everybody calls him Cody. We are autistic. Yeah, thanks. <laughs> what do you think? Don't say it sarcastically, Jacob. You know you're autistic. I know I am. Oh, hey, I found two more beans. <laughs> wow, lucky me. Hey, look, it's the funny British man. Oh, uh, what? Yeah. My BC narrator decides not to work half the time. It, it no what? Wait, wait! I found more beans. Holy, up, hold up, dude! I'm just finding all kinds of beans that I'm missing. What? Guys, I have a friend's. I have a friend's influence 
whose first influence to Mario was Super Mario Logan. Super Mario William? <laughs> Logan. Super Mario Logan. Oh, Logan. I heard was his one experience with Mario. I mean, it's not the worst way to experience Mario. <laughs> I mean, it's not accurate. It's not an accurate way to experience it. It's, no, you definitely You watch that not. and then you play Mario. It's like, how do like... you... How do you go your whole life without a Mario Kart? Or that's, that's a good question. Like anything else. I noticed you're playing. I noticed you're playing Mario Kart. Yes, I am currently playing Mario Kart. Yo, I just missed this entire ass area with these saw blades. How the hell did I miss that? I don't know how. I played that area. I'm in this random part of Mount Burr that I somehow missed, and there's just like there's like six beans here. I don't know how I missed this. No wonder. <laughs> no wonder I didn't have all the beans. Collected. I probably missed that area completely too. Hey, right, Jacob, let's go fight the Cody's. Oh, hell yeah, the Cody's. Yeah, we're on our way to fight the. Oh, that's right, we have a mini game. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> what? What? I'm missing Remember? one. I'm missing one bean? What the fuck? <laughs> Where is it? <laughs> Where? Where is this bean? It's always one. Hold on, I think I know. I think I know where it is. Hey, Jacob, you like this minigame? In the cave. Um... Uh, which one is it? Oh, this one's <laughs> at on. This one's terrible! <laughs> what? What's with the oh, hatred, bro? It's five minutes long, and you have to play every battle perfectly, and you can't hit the fuzzies at the end of the minigame. Do they get into a fight, or do you just have to, like, go back to the beginning of them? You get into a fight, and I was I was down to, like, 50 seconds when I got to those fuzzies, and I couldn't kill them fast enough. Alright, let me just do this. Anyway, Seb, I now have 100% beans on Mount Burr. Let's go. Go get the rest of them. Alright, we'll see which ones I'm missing. I'm missing, um... I'm missing... Uh, three beans and Doop Doop Dunes, and that's it. Oh, so you're literally just, like, right there? I have no idea where the fuck they are, though. I also have 95% of the blocks in, um, this game. Me too. I need to get two in Mount Burr, two in Duke Duke Dunes, four in Bump uh, Bumpsy Plains, wrong game. Four in Sunbeam Plains, and seven in uh, whatever the fuck forest is called, Gloomy Woods. I was a tree with forest, but that's Pac-Man World 2. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, stop with the Pac-Man. Yeah, I can't help it. That game's good. I grew up with that game. That was legitimately the first video game I ever played. That's a good first game. I know, right? You want to know what my second game ever was? What the hell? Well, TTYD. Kind of <laughs> yeah. What? Two yeah. shiny bombs. That's the second one. I played Paper Mario The Thousand Year Door as my second game. Okay, okay, that's fucking really good, right? Yeah. I, I'm not, I don't want you got two tiny bombs. Yep, two. What was your first game in Disappointment? Um... I don't know what the first game... First game in Disappointment might have been Mario Party 9. <laughs> you I know liked, what, that's a, that's a good one. The sad fact is, I liked that game. Yeah, but that's just because you never played the other good ones. You didn't get to play the GameCube games. And I had to introduce what? you to them, and now you know they're, like, amazing. I mean, I like, uh, I'm not gonna say amazing is a strong word, Jacob. I mean, they're good. They're better than nine and ten. I I've never played the GameCube. GameCube Mario Party's a masterpiece, because... and any other opinion is wrong. <laughs> because it turns out I don't, I don't that really, Mario Kart 7 I don't really care for the N64 ones more, that much. Like a few months. Eh, those ones are good. I just haven't really played them properly because I played two. But I only played it. I didn't get to play it with friends, so I, I didn't really get to see the like the big, cool points of that game. And I heard three three is better anyway. Hit all flying monsters. Those are some mid ass cars. My BP free used to rent every Mario Party game uh, two through six, and the only ones Dude, I owned for the longest time minutes. was one and seven. One and seven. <laughs> Yeah. Interesting. <laughs> Everything else was Blockbuster rentals. Oh, you guys remember Blockbuster? <laughs> What's Blockbuster? Oh, I don't know. You remember Blockbuster, Seth? Oh, I don't know. 
I'm joking. I'm a blockbuster. Okay, good. <laughs> I was worried. We made a whole TV show about that one that's still alive in Canada, apparently. Mm, I wouldn't know. I've never seen it. We got another rare card. Dude, Balloon Burst is like piss easy to just kill all these guys. Oh, that's a one up. Yeah, I was using um, I was using Bomb Derby, but Balloon Burst is definitely a lot better. Anyways, here's another strict also... encounter. Good time. Did you also have two and a half minutes by the time you got here? Um, I think so. But then again, this fight takes longer. Well, you know, you know, the reason why I the reason why I failed is because I wasn't killing the shy guy. I was killing the chain chomp. So that's my bad, honestly. You'll you'll definitely be able to get through this if you just kill the shy guy. I'll just like drill shy because that's probably the easiest one. Yeah. All right. So probably what I'll do is I'm gonna try and find the uh, I'm gonna try and find the beans in Doop Doop Dunes because I don't remember where they're at. And I kind of want to find them. You kind of want to experience having a 100% bean rate. Yeah. Soon you will become the guy that heals the beans. <laughs> well, speaking One of which... day you will be the bean. <laughs> bean the bean. Alright, let's use those heart beans. Oh my god! Oh yeah, here's the part that I fucked up. And you made it look piss easy. <laughs> well, good job, you beat this minigame first try. Alright, do we have to take the floor down? Not, no, we don't. We just go for the cannon. Just ignore the fly guys and you'll be fine. Yeah, you got it first try. You made this You made this minigame your bitch. <laughs> yes, I did. <laughs> Alright, I had a minute and a half to spare, by the way. Yeah, I, I didn't have that much time. Yeah. And there's no there's a hard mode version of that minigame, by the way. <laughs> What's the hard mode? Is it just... Is I, don't, I, don't, I don't know, I haven't tested it out yet. That might be- that might go in the bonus episode, though. <laughs> Mario, I thought you were 100% this game. That's part of it. Yeah. Well, I have- I have two minigames left before I 100% all the minigames. I did most of them off-screen because they're just, like, repeats of all the old minigames we played already. Oh. And you get this block hiding in the corner. Are those, is that one of the blocks I missed in Bowser's Castle? Oh, it is. Let me see, is there one on the other side? Wait, so I missed- I missed that, the goldenware, I never found that. Wait, let's test- wait, before- wait, before we find the Chloe's, let's take a look at it. Yeah, what the hell is the goldenware? <laughs> this is one of those just sell it for good money. No, I think it, it gives you more defense, depends on how much money you have. Increase yeah. your defense based on the number of coins you have. Yeah. Hell no. That is not good. Do you want to know how much money you need for that to actually be worth it? How much? You need like, Sorry. like 300,000 coins. Dude, I spent all my- like, why would they ever assume players would use that at this point in the game? Because you spent all your money on like, the masterware. Exactly, why would you want to invest in the goldenware? Which, by the way, you want to know another random gear that you get in this game? What? You get the golden hammer from Morton. That is technically- that is technically the best hammer in the game. <laughs> but you need 300,000 coins for it to be good. Anyways, yeah, so I'll, I'll, I'll turn my screen off. It's time for time to pay attention to one of the best fights in this game. Just because of, of how dumb it is. Wait, which fight is the best in the game? The Cody fight. Uh, the okay. Matteo fight. The Matteo fight. I mean, technically you do fight Matteo in this game. Because there's a yellow Yoshi race you gotta do. <laughs> oh my I god, that pissed me off. <laughs> yeah. What? So technically, Mario is in Paper Jam. <laughs> and I'm glad to make your day worse. Aliu? <laughs> Aliu? That's some good damage. Three. Too bad Seb isn't doing the cheese strat where he just puts on the 50% attack card. <laughs> stacking. Yeah, no. Because that's how I do things. I, I didn't even explain my card strategy. I got in, I got like distracted. But like my card strategy is I start off the battle, 
I use the pull three cards card, so I just get like all my cards immediately. And then I put on the def the lower defense by 30% card, the increase pow by 35% card, and then the increase everybody's attack by 50% card. So basically the Mario Bros end up doing like double damage. <laughs> And it just, like, absolutely shreds all the enemies and bosses. <laughs> well, Jay, here, I'll have to show you afterwards. Alright. The thing is, the, the fence cards don't always work for some reason. Like, they only work on the bosses when they feel like it. <laughs> Which is why they're a bit riskier to use. Wow, look at all these shitty cars that you're not gonna use. Well, yeah, I have a I, I, I prepared, so I have a deck to use once you beat the Cody. Ah, nice. And after this stream, I'm probably gonna go make some lunch, because I haven't had anything yet. Malnourishment. Pretty much. <laughs> Why is there no paper Luigi in this game? Because, um, they hate Paper Luigi for some reason. I pressed the like button! They could have just mapped him to the X button. Nah, man, the X button is how you jump with all the bros. <laughs> oh my god, I don't hit him. <laughs> then again, Partners in Time, Partners in Time did just fine with having all the babies yeah. mapped to Y and X. Mm -hmm. Oh, and here's the here's Cody being a smelly bastard. Oh. Yeah, you can just press all the face buttons. I'm pretty sure oh, everyone, including babies, it. can press the uh, thing. Oh, yeah, baby game. Man, those those code those like, paper yeah. Cody's look hella pixelated. What the hell? I don't know. Oh, I think what, it's what this game's from. You know, it's probably it's OG like, OpenGL doing that. It's like. It, it sees your texture pack. Oh, I actually snuck a hidden. Wow. Wow. Oh yeah, that's right. Oh. I have my my Cody. He makes actual Cody noises from SML <laughs> when you hit him. It's uh, crazy. Like whenever you hit him, he's just like, ooh. <laughs> All right, he dropped it. Oh, you only hit him twice, and he dropped it. That's very unusual. Normally, he needs okay. to be hit a few more times. I wonder. I wonder if these dry bones are like upscaled. I think they are. Thirty-three. <laughs> yeah. Not having a bros attack really sucks. You know, technically, if I use this right now, the, this will also take effect for the dry bones. You're right there. Time to give my extra speed. Be my Mario has 236 speed. <laughs> Holy shit. That means faster. I didn't well, realize he had that much. Yo, let's go. <laughs> <laughs> those those do stack though, but the double the double experience at the end of, after the end of battle doesn't though. That's the weird thing. Ooh. See, the great thing about the expert boots is you get 11 jumps instead of 10. Alright, they're gonna do their thing. Yes, they're doing the funny. Where they just stand still for like a second and they ram at you at full speed. <laughs> <laughs> Very. I also know Luigi's Bros attack on free, sadly. What about Luigi's Bros attack? They aren't free anymore because I took damage. Oh, yeah, rip. I mean, you do get 2 BP every time you take damage, though. Hope you have a better time with this fight than I do. Wait, did you have a bad time with this fight? Yeah, I actually died. <laughs> I actually got a game over. <laughs> you did? Yeah, because I wasn't... Cause here's the thing, I'm so used to the to the boss fight version, or the bo rematch version, that them going so slow threw me off. <laughs> Like, I was genuinely thrown off by how slow it was. 
they're like, oh my god, the fight's easier. I can't do it. No, oh my god, they're doing it. Yeah, that was actually that was actually my uh, my thought process. Like I was just like, I, I it's too fucking slow. I can't I can't do it. Guys, why is it stop being so easy? I need you to be a bit more harder for me. Well, yeah, I mean, you said how fast they go normally. So then Dude. going slow messed me up. Like, that is genuinely a problem I had with this fight. Actually, that was my only problem, is how slow they were. Okay, so I need to just, just need to get the beans in Doo Doo Dunes, and I'll be good to go. Doo Doo Dunes. Yeah, it's more fun to say than Doo Doo Dunes. <laughs> what, Doo Doo isn't funny to you? <laughs> they dropped it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I, let's see. I'm just gonna go to, to all the spots on the map that the guide recommends and see if I missed any beams. Hey Jacob, look, it's another one. Yo, let's go. <laughs> it's just increasing. All right, I'm gonna. All right, here's my idea. I'm gonna do balloon burst this time, just because I know the dry bones are there. Yeah, Mr. Bones. Wait, Jacob, have you been saying balloon burst or balloon blast? I'm pretty sure it's Balloon Blast. I think we've been saying it wrong this whole time. Yeah, we've been calling it Balloon Burst, but I just checked it. I saw an A, so it's Balloon Blast. Yeah, Balloon Burst is a Nintendo 3 Sun joke. <laughs> wow. So I keep saying Balloon balloon Burst. You should keep calling it that. <laughs> just keep saying Balloon Blast. Or Balloon Burst. Cause he, he says it in a really funny tone, he's like, BALLOON BEST. Right, cannonball chop. More like cannonball fuck, am I right? Why, cause he missed it? Wow. <laughs> yes. Um, I'm just gonna... Yeah. Well, and also the depth perception on cannonball chuck is just annoying. Alright. Alright, which right. which beans could I possibly missed? That's where I'm that's where I'm going to check right now. Hmm. I mean I have an idea on where I could have potentially missed them. Um they're not near the lack of two info center. I can say that for sure. Oh, yeah! Oh, Alright, we got the X-Bone this time. In the first area after Sunbeam Plains. I, mean, I, I remember I saw this. Sometimes the Cody doesn't go backwards in a portal. Oh yeah, that is really funny when they do that. But it's also really annoying when they do that. Is it? It wasn't that bad for me. Oh, like, hey, Jacob, look, they're doing the two-minute attack. The two-minute attack? Yes. It's kind of crazy how, how it actually just goes on for that long, straight up. I think it's fine, because I think you need two minutes. Just because of, like, <laughs> how hard it is. Well, I got a hit in. As soon as I say that, that's when I get a hit in on the Cody. Yeah, hit the Cody. Yeah, cause you gotta deal with all these paper Cody's cock blocking you. Yeah. I just think I just still think it's really funny how when Cody when when you finish right. the attack he just says in half. Well, he's dead. Lol. Well, I, I, hopefully Paper Cody's alright. Nah, I prefer killing the normal Cody, honestly, because he's the one who takes away your bros' attacks. Well, it's fine. I can probably deal with him quickly enough. Well, because here's the thing, if you kill the normal Cody, and then you you have just the Paper Cody left, you can use Bomb Derby, and it just kill- it just destroys him. <laughs> Do I else destroy him? What? Mega Thwonk. <laughs> Mega Thwonk. That is true. Mm. 
We got 413. Ooh. Some meaty damage. Oh, he's dead. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Bye. Yeah, he is. Bye, Cody. Right, how much XP are we getting for this? But yeah, I want to see. Oh, you also got a random card. Wow, that's terrible. 2,000. What? Oh. 9,000. That's how much I got. <laughs> I mean, that's pretty good for a boss, oh, honestly. I wasn't saying it like a bad thing. Like, I think 9,000 is like a humongous number. It is. I think that's the most experience I'm like ever going to get. I also like how they don't die. So anyway, like, they just have this moment. They're just like, hey, man, we did good. And then the we, we had, jump on them. We had, a, we had a good run. No you, and no you. And they're arguing, and then you just go, poof. Alright. Alright, Jacob, are you ready to see what I prepared for you? Sure. Bam. Wow. It's not bad, actually. Alright, but there is one change I'm gonna make because of a recent addition. Get rid of you and put on you. <laughs> sure. You're not gonna put on any, like, damage dealing cards? No, I didn't need that. If I have all these power increase cards, and these damage increase cards, and those defense lowering cards, oh yeah, here's the here's the room with the cards. here's the room with the mecha koopa load. I have like six mecha koopas in them. I'll fight them at the start of the next episode, probably. Yeah, might be what I do. I'm probably gonna get I'm probably gonna get my bros up to rainbow rank before I fight the koopalings anyway. When are you, so when are we playing this game again? Whenever you're free again. <laughs> Well, I have school now, so... Well, I know that, so probably just Friday night. I thought you said we were going to try out Jackbox Friday night. Well, that I would we would have if we finished last week. <laughs> but I want to get this game finished before I think about I mean, doing anything have... like that. Also, I have a warp pipe. Yeah, the final warp pipe in the game. And also, Jacob, you want to see something? What? I find it weird you can't pause it when you're on top of those pipes. Yeah, I noticed that too. Damn, 35 out of 35, Jacob. You have 33. 33 blocks, yeah. Yeah, I'm missing a couple. And I think I know where they are. I think I know where my missing blocks are. Wait, actually, how many blocks do I have? Um, right, 31. Well, so I, I, know, I know which blocks I'm missing then, because you showed me where they were. <laughs> Alright. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this, uh, it's like the, what's the word I'm looking for? Catch up? Well, it is a catch up episode, but like the, uh, you know, before the final one, the final episode. Not counting the Red Mound Do. Hey, to be fair, I think <laughs> it's probably better for you that I did this. Because one, you're able to get those beans. Yeah, and also now I know where to get some extra blocks at. Yeah, and get you some useless crap like the Goldenware. Yeah, that's great. All right, well, I'm gonna head out, so I'll see y'all later. Yeah, I'm gonna see. I'll see you guys. I'm gonna go make lunch. All I kind of right. forgot. I kind of forgot go. Luke and Mateo over here. Yeah, they're they're chilling. It's cool. <laughs> it's yeah. Cool. When to go jack off? All right. Go jack off. Well, I'll see you guys uh, for the next Paper Jam episode, where we're gonna finally fight the final boss. See you guys then.